Simeon, thanks for joining us. We're here in Chicago at SIBO Studios and we're hosting one of our financial advisor forums. So what I wanted to speak with you about is the Dow Jones Brookfield Global Infrastructure Index. It's something that you've been talking to advisors about and I think that you've been making the case that it's yield at a reasonable cost. Can you share a little bit more about that? Well, I think that's right, Sean. You know, in this environment, we've had a lot of people stretching for yield. So high yeah. yielding equities, utilities, things like that, really running through the roof this year. And there's always that risk of stretching for yield that you're either overpaying for it or, of course, quite interest rate sensitive. So, yeah, you're great when interest rates are falling, but what if they go up? And what we found in the, uh, in the infrastructure space, particularly with the Dow Jones Brookfield uh, Global Composite, is that you have a yield right now that's about double the S&P, but it's trading at two-thirds the price to book of the S&P. Okay. So that puts the yield at a reasonable price. And, of course, you have a much broader array than just, say, the utility sector. Here you have many sectors of infrastructure with the added benefit that, of course, there's a lot of spending that needs to be done in that space. So you're tracking the index with the fund. Talk about what's inside of it. Like what kind of companies would be owned within that? The key to this index is that it focuses and holds the companies that own and operate the infrastructure assets, as opposed to, say, construction and service-oriented companies that are much more cyclical. The way I like to think about it, you know, imagine that you owned an airport and you had three runways. You've got steady cash flow from those three runways, and you're out of capacity, yeah. you need runway number four. Yeah. The construction company makes money one time building the runway. You just increased your revenue and cash flow 25% ad infinitum. So I know that you're out talking to advisors all the time. How are you seeing advisors position this within their portfolios? Sometimes you'll actually see a sleeve of, say, real assets or even a liquid alternative. But uh, it could just be a diversifying piece of equities and also uh, a thematic satellite, if you will, to a core equity position. So there are a number of ways that you can uh, put infrastructure appropriately into a broader asset allocation. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Simeon. It's great to see you again. Thank you.